we're trying to compare uh, the total sum of these scores here, here, and here. You know, combining all, for example, calculate this sum, sum of this group, and total sum of this group, and total sum of this group separately, and square that. To be able to compare, you know, when you know, there are different, uh, you know, when there are different number of uh, scores in a, you know, it's difficult to, it's hard to compare between, you know, different groups when their numbers are different. Because in this case, there's five and five and five. So you know, just adding them up and twenty-five, uh, five twenty-five, that kind of tells you the differences, you know. But what if, uh, you know, this group? Uh, had uh, more more scores like you know one instead of only five scores but if there are like 20 scores in total then it could be you know 20 20 here so to avoid that we're gonna have to divide the total sum by the number of scores in that that's why we do it you know divided by n so we we sum them up and divide them di divide divide the result by, by by the number of the group, uh, the, the 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 size of the group. So in this case, you know, the total sum is five, and this number of the score is five. And uh, we like to use a uh, square to get the uh, you know because square always gives them positive, and also. A lot of calculation based on the squares. That's why I think it's using squares. I'm not really sure yet, but okay, that's probably the reason. So square of five is twenty-five, and so some square is for here. It's four hundred, and it's five hundred twenty-five. And we're gonna divide those numbers by the numbers, just in case these uh, score number of scores in the group are different between the groups. So five five five. So the result we get, you know, is uh, five eighty and five. That tells us that gives some numbers we can use to compare these three groups. So some square uh, for uh, it's like average some square, you know. So it's like average, uh, you know squared uh, number you know so it, on average five it, they, they got this and this is a score this is a score this is a score they get so comparing the but score square in a row square square they get five and five and eighty now from that you can kind of tell uh, this is huge but you know that this way it kind of con retains uh, you know characteristics of each group and you get uh, group sp group specific number 80 5 and 5 as opposed to when you you know mix them all up and uh, calculate the you know hmm, squared uh, average then you get usually get different number so this is the number that retains the group specific you know characteristics so when you combine them it's the total value is 90 okay 90 on the other hand if you consider this as a whole group and you know add them up then uh, total is gonna be 30 and when you do square as whole one group it's 900 then uh, we're gonna have to you know instead of uh, 25 425 separately you know we got 900 here and uh, in this case you know there are 15 scores in it so we divide by 15 and the result is 60 see we got 60 as opposed to 90 you know, as a total, when you when you do this calculation, you get 60. But when you do uh, the calculation group by group and add them up, you get 90. So that means there's some uh, by squaring, it kind of blow blow things up. So that means there's some uh, 
some one of the groups might be actually you know blowing off this ratio I mean you know to, so one group has uh, distinct you know way different characteristics that's what it's implying you know this is 60 and this is 90 you know, that's how you uh, Summer square view in is uh, the difference. Okay, I get in the that difference is the summer square view in. Summer square view in is actually the difference between this number and this number, which is 30. This formula, you know, is exactly what I did just now. So